AFLP. AFLP means Amplified Fragment Length Polymorphism. In the first step of AFLP, the genomic DNA is extracted from the organism. In the next step, two different restriction enzymes are usually used to digest the DNA. One is four base cutter and the other one is six base cutter. Now two different adapters are ligated on each digested DNA fragment. These adapters make it possible to copy and amplify the fragments in next steps. If you don't know what exactly is an adapter, it is a short double-stranded DNA molecule that has sticky ends. Each adapter is complementary to a cut in the fragmented DNA. In the next step, these DNA fragments are amplified in PCR. In amplification, two distinct primers are added to each DNA fragment. These primers are specific and complementary to adapters. The amplification produces oodles of new DNA fragments, and these amplified fragments are easily separated in polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. The DNA fragments are placed in a gel, then an electric field is applied. The fragments get separated based on their size. AFLP normally produces 30 to 100 DNA bands on the agarose gel. By comparing the band patterns of different species, we can adduce precious information, like revealing the similarities and diversity between different organisms. AFLP is a PCR-based technique. It was first developed by Wass and Zebo in the year 1993. It is a powerful technique to detect polymorphism in the genome. It enables the selective amplification of restricted DNA fragments from a complex mixture. AFLP gives us more information, faster and highly accurate than RFLP and RAPD. AFLP results are highly reproducible compared to other techniques. Prior genomic information is not necessary in AFLP. That is it for today's video. Make sure you are subscribed to the Science Entertaining. Like and share this video if you want to help others. Stay tuned. I will see you in the next video.